Welcome to a new Team CGC 9.8 video. Today I have some interesting pre-sales for the team to consider. And one of these I ended up pre-ordering a few copies for myself. So uh, we'll, yeah, we'll start with that one. It's a uh, Star Wars High Republic Adventures Annual 2021. Yeah, this one was looking interesting to me. I'd read a review on this comic book. Um, I think it was on like uh, the CBR comic book review website. But the author talked about how he was really excited to introduce a few new characters in this comic. So a couple new first appearances, which is always great. And I was trying to do a little more research, find out more about the characters, but admittedly there's not too much uh, information out there right now. Uh, also in this review though, they talk about how they're bringing in a lot of the authors from the High Republic novels into this comic book for the first time. And it is a one-shot comic book. So I think that's pretty cool. It seems like a pretty big Star Wars event. A couple first appearances in there. So for me, um, it was kind of making sense to pre-order this one. Seems to be a little flying under the radar a little bit. You don't really see too many people really excited about pre-ordering this one. And there's not any listings where there's like 30 pre-ordered. So, you know, possible that this one's kind of flying under the radar a bit, which to me is a, a, a you know, a mild positive, I would say. Uh, ships December 15th, this one. So you still got a few more weeks to uh, pre-order this one. I just pre-ordered them at my uh, local comic shop. Hopefully you can do the same. Uh, $7.99 US. Right around $10 Canadian on the uh, pre-sales for the, these ones. Yeah, just making sense. I think a little bit speculative still, but, um, you know, maybe those first appearances end up working out and it'll all be worth it. But uh, kind of a good eye appeal, especially on the cover A. That's why I went with two on the cover A and a one in the cover B. So, yeah, maybe you want to consider a uh, Star Wars High Republic Adventures Annual 2021. Next one uh, was looking pretty cool. Uh, kind of bummed maybe like the covers aren't a little bit better because it seems to have a pretty great first appearance. This is uh, uh, Justice League Incarnate number two. This looks like it's going to go down as the first appearance of Batwoman Who Laughs, who uh, apparently in like another alternate universe, the Batman Who Laughs is a female. Uh, so it'll be interesting to see how this one goes. But uh, uh, personally for this one, I did not pre-order one, but Pretty tempting, it, you know, if maybe there was a really cool like Batwoman Who Laughs cover to go with this, I probably certainly would have pre-ordered this one, but still, yeah, looking like it's going to be the first appearance of Batwoman Who Laughs, probably one to get, to be honest. Uh, this one ships December 7th, still got a few weeks for a pre-order on this one. There's two main covers, one I think is like $4.99, I think cover B is $5.99, a little bit more. And then they have a, a 1 of 25 variant, which is kind of in the 20 to $30 price range I'm seeing, depending on which uh, retailer you look at. So, uh, yeah, Just League Incarnate number two. I know, you know, I'm a huge Batman Who Laughs fan, so this was really tempting for me. Maybe I'll still kind of order one or two, maybe one in each cover A, cover B. Not sure I really want to pay up for the exclusive variant. Maybe if it was a cool Bat Batwoman Beyond cover, but it's not, so... Um, you know, we'll see what happens with Justice League Incarnate number two, but certainly one to consider, I think. Okay, next one's a really cool looking one too. It's a uh, Star Wars Crimson Rain number one. And I think for this one, you want to go after the uh, Marco Turini variant, which is a little more expensive, but it's got the first, uh, it's got uh, the, the character of uh, first appearance, this one of Seer. And, it, and Seer is on the cover on this Marco Turini variant. So, uh, first appearance of Seer, uh, just doing a little research, seems like a female bounty hunter. Maybe there's some uh, potential there. This one uh, ships December 1st. So, in this uh, Turini variant, pretty cool close-up of uh, Darth Vader. I'm kind of liking the eye appeal on this one. I'm pretty tempted on this one. Who knows, I might end up uh, grabbing one or two. So, in the uh, trade dress, seeing prices anywhere from like $10 to $15 online. And uh, the Virgin variant, you, most retailers, you have to buy them as a pair, and it sort of comes out around $40, so that's going to put the Virgin rate around 20 to 25 bucks, I think, if you maybe want to wait on that one and just get the Virgin. But um, yeah, 10 to 15, first appearance, first, the character first appearance is on the cover as well. Pretty cool Darth Vader cover, so... Yeah, this one, uh, certainly if you're a big Star Wars fan and you like these uh, speculating on these first appearances, this is definitely, I think, one to get. Uh, and y yeah, you do probably want to go with the Turini variant. And uh, yeah, the trade dress, 10 to 15 bucks. And the Virgin, 20 to 25 dollars, US dollars, all the prices. Yeah, so first appearance of Seer, we'll see how that one works out. Okay, and last one. 
Uh, yeah, pretty cool one to pre-order, I think, is a uh, Star Wars High Republic Eye of the Storm number one. This one's going to end up being the origin of Marchion Row. And uh, I discussed in a, just a recent video where um, it's uh, Star Wars High Republic Adventures number two, his first full appearance of Marchion Row. Pretty cool, cheap one in the 9.8 or just in the raw that, that you can buy right now. And uh, there's some potential there. Uh, this one, the origin of Marchion Row. So if you're the biggest Marchion Row fan, you, you probably want this one. Absolutely. This one ships uh, December 1st. $4.99. I'm only seeing one cover for this one as well. Interesting. It'll be interesting to see if there's any more covers coming out. But a pretty cheap one to consider. Origin of Marchion Row. And think about as well that uh, Star Wars High Republic Adventures number two. Um, yeah, and uh, another thing too, uh, before we end it here, the uh, uh, Crimson Rain, the Torini variant, first appearance of Seer, he had a, a quick cameo in War of the Bounty Hunters number five where you kind of see the rogues gallery of all of Key Ra's um, bounty hunter friends, I guess it is. And Seer is within that whole uh, sort of, uh, yeah, rogues gallery. There's like a, a group of 10 or 15 bounty hunters. And you do see Seer briefly in one panel in War of the Bounty Hunters number five. But uh, Star Wars Crimson Rain number one is looking like it's the first full appearance of Seer. Uh, just to clarify there. But uh, yeah, and then the Marching on Row origin in Star Wars High Republic, Eye of the Storm number one, that might be worth uh, uh, you know, a pre-order. If Marching on Row ever gets a push, a lot of these sort of, um, you know, I I'd assume this is his first solo comic book as well. So these end up usually heating up, and I know that sort of just happened in the last year with Thrawn. Um, you know, Thrawn's first appearance got really hot, but also Thrawn number one, his first solo book in origin as well. Uh, heated up quite a bit too. So this one might be worth it to get in there at like $4.99. Uh, Star Wars High Republic Eye of the Storm number one. Okay, uh, four pre-sales here to consider. Yeah, I was definitely liking that uh, High Republic Adventures annual. Yeah, I, I sort of like how it's under the radar and not sort of heavily being, being heavily pre-ordered like some more obvious books. But uh, yeah, we'll see how all of these work out. But uh, yeah, definitely ones to consider, I think, and ones that were kind of sticking out for me in, uh, out of the uh, new comic books right now. All right, team, thanks so much for watching, and uh, I'll see you on the next one.